am Father Louis Gasparini. I am uh, now the provincial of the Comboni missionaries, but I do have ties with this, uh, with this church because a few years ago, in 2002, I was named pastor of this, uh, of this community. And I fell in love with it. You know, this is a beautiful place. I have the greatest respect for the traditions of the people that came here and how they established themselves and, and how they kept ties with, with the old country. And it was a mutual uh, enrichment. Of course, when they first came, about, uh, about 100 years ago, they brought also their devotions. And here is one, uh, Saint uh, Donatus, the patron of their Ripa Candida, Candida uh, Parish. And it's one of these beautiful things that people do. You know, the faith accompanies them wherever they are. So I found this in this parish when I came from Peru and I fell in love both with the community, the Italian community that was here, you know, for so many years, and a new community which was uh, developing in this, uh, in this place. Quite a challenging things because when there are old traditions and new ones, there's sometimes some conflicts, but I could experience, from my part anyway, um, more a collaboration than competitions. And so I did enjoy my time here. Um, I see it now, you know, we come to a hundred years when we celebrate the presence of this community. The, the church is a little bit uh, younger than a hundred. But, you know, the, the feast and the tradition and the celebration and the processions, yes, you know, they date a hundred years. It seems to be in the world history, not too much. But, you know, uh, in, in a hundred years, many things happen. And uh, this, you know, road was paved by a lot of work, a lot of struggle, a lot of success. And we're at a point now where we are uh, in, in a changing type of uh, situation, which is also exciting. It's exciting because, like it happened that in any immigrations, some older ones kind of move in different uh, different pattern, and new ones trying to establish themselves. Uh, it's exciting. There's a potential, you know, in many different fields in the church, especially because we have new, new vitality uh, in the country, you know, in the work area, in, in the cultures that are mutually enriching themselves and that's what excites me about that. I was here for three years and then I was uh, given a different job. Of course I missed this place but it's good to be here now. It's good to be here to to celebrate. I uh, feel like I'm at home. I feel that uh, history has been built and it's opened the door for more history. We have memories but we have also opportunities to create new memories. So I think that's, that's the best thing. And this feast kind of seals somehow one century, but at the same time opens the door to other. You know, hopefully we can learn from some of these journeys, some of these experiences uh, to, 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 you know, to make our path for the future straighter. I am deeply impressed that the people have lived here built this community. We're extremely grateful for them. They leave, or rather, they are not leaving. They are sharing the fruit of their experiences and their life and their faith with new generations and creates new hopes. And the future is filled with hope. And I, I am very, very happy to be here and celebrate with this community today.